Hello and welcome to Mr. CFD. In this article, you will find formulas for several important dimensionless numbers such as lift coefficient, drag coefficient, Reynolds number, Nusselt number, and etc. And then the applications of reference value in ANSYS Fluent software. Typically, these equations are written non-dimensionally using dimensionless values obtained using appropriate characteristics scales. There are many benefits to using dimensionless variables. This reduces the number of variables appropriate for a problem and helps to determine the size of the terms of the conservation equations that are related. Differential equations that represent conservation laws are rarely used with dimensional equations. Given that we deal with kinetic energy in many numbers, most dimensionless numbers, we describe it. We know that the kinetic energy equations equal this formula. Now, how can I obtain the mass of water or air? The answer to this question is the density or a specific mass. Density is the mass of a unit volume fluid. Therefore, the kinetic energy of the fluid is equal to this formula. The specific mass of air is the mass of air per unit volume. But to get this value, for example, under the wing of an airplane, we have to calculate the total area under the wing. So we have to multiply the kinetic energy by the area of the wing, where rho is the density of the fluid, V is the velocity of free stream flow, and S is the area. This parameter we use in the following formulas. By flying fast through the air, the aircraft produces lift. The vehicle's wings have cross sections that resemble airfoils. A pressure difference between the top and lower wing surface will be produced for a given flow speed with the airfoil positioned at an angle of attack to the approaching airstream. A high pressure area will be below, and a very low pressure area will be above. Lift is produced on the wing by the difference in these pressure forces. The amount of lift generated will depend on the size of the airfoil, its square velocity, the air density around it, and the angle at which the wing is attacking the incoming flow. The drag coefficient, which has none dimensions and is employed in fluid dynamic is a measurement of an object's drag or resistance in a fluid environment like air or water. A lower drag coefficient means the object will have less aerodynamic or hydrodynamic drag which is used in the drag equation. In fluid dynamics, the dimensionless number's pressure coefficient describes the relative pressure present throughout a flow field. Aerodynamics and hydrodynamics both use the pressure coefficient. In a fluid flow field, each point has a specific pressure coefficient. The aerodynamic pitching moment coefficient is generated using aerodynamic forces applied to the body that tend to rotate the body. This object can be the wing of an airplane, a car, or a wind turbine blade. The rotation occurs when this rotational force is applied outside the center of pressure or the aerodynamic center. The friction drag coefficient is used to characterize the friction drag brought on by shear stresses. For defining the flow processes for forced flows, the Reynolds number is a dimensionless similarity parameter. When it comes to objects surrounded by the flow, the characteristics length x used to get the Reynolds number is equal to the length of the object direction of the flow. The Nusselt number describes the ratio of convective heat transfer compared to heat conduction, where x denotes the characteristics length of the system, h is the convective heat transfer coefficient, and its definition is given like this formula. You can define the convective heat transfer coefficient h as follows. The heat transfer rate per unit surface area and unit temperature difference between a solid surface and a fluid. 
Q is the local heat flux. Delta T is the difference in temperature, is the difference between wall temperature, T wall, and the bulk temperature. Application of reference value in ANSYS Fluent software. Go to the reference value of the task page. We apply the following path, setup and reference value. It contains inputs for the reference value. The reference values to be set are area, density, enthalpy, length, pressure, temperature, velocity, dynamic viscosity, and ratio of specific heats. Kindly like and subscribe to Mr. CFD channel and tap the bell to get new video updates. Area parameter is used to find coefficients such as lift, drag, and momentum or pitch. Density used for the calculation of force and moment coefficients and Reynolds number. The velocity used for the calculation of forces and moment coefficients and Reynolds number. Depth determines the reference depths for two-dimensional cell volume computation by default set as 1 meter. The enthalpy establishes the reference enthalpy which controls the overall change in enthalpy. Length used for the calculation of force and moment coefficient and also Reynolds number. Temperature is used for the calculation of heat transfer coefficient and entropy. The viscosity parameter is used for evaluating the Reynolds number. Also, the ratio of specific heat is used for the efficiency of turbo machinery, so all of these parameters are so important to extract the accurate results for dimensionless numbers. The surface area can refer to either the surface area perpendicular to the flow or the surface area projected in the flow direction depending on which form of drag predominates. To find the projected area in fluent, we can apply the following path. As you can see, the projected area in the flow direction, Y projected direction, and the projected area perpendicular to the flow, Z project direction, are different. You can benefit from more than 1000 of training product of CFT simulation by ANSYS Fluent software in every field that you can imagine through training shop of the Master CFT website. To benefit from Master CFT services including simulation, consultation and training, visit our website www.mastercft.com and contact us via info@mastercft.com.